Hey guys, welcome back to my. Can this thing just be sure? But can we? I shall be to see that. Is it by force? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, how are you all doing? Hope everybody is doing great. So, like, what I saw yesterday night was terrible. We are still talking about the gospel singer that just died. And uh, I went to social media on Facebook precisely and I saw a video of uh, the woman affairs minister that interviewed the kids. Like, <sighs> that man is a beast, like a beast. I don't even want to start saying what the minister said, but I'll allow you guys to, you know, to watch the video with me because oh, 12 years old. 12 years old witnessed the domestic violence like witnessed it that the man used to even flog them with belts if they tried to you know intervene <sighs> that man eh that man was sent from the pit of hell like supposed to beat that man blue black anyway before we see much of it let, let me just um you know, show you guys a video of when um, the uh, women of women, can say about herself, women affairs minister, you know, interviewed the kids. So let's just watch it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, this video is not even likeable myself, but <sighs> see you guys in my next video. Welcome to Z Sports children three boys one girl he had so hypnotized the children that they should not speak and they should never say anything that has been happening in the house i came in with the crew with all the directors from the ministry and the permanent secretary and so sad we did all we could we met a friend of his there who has stationed himself to monitor what is happening and the nanny that visits them to take care of the children. So when I was asking questions, the children, I saw that they were not forthcoming. And uh, I now excuse everyone out. I said I needed to have one and one with the children. So I sent all the children in. I asked the nanny to take them in. I started with the first son. I said, do you love your mommy? He said, yes. Has your mommy taught you to tell lies? He said, no. I said, you know that, she, is she alive or dead? He said, she's dead. You know that she's now your angel and she's watching you. She'll be very sad if you tell lies. I'm here, I introduced myself, and I told him that the president is concerned, every Nigerian is concerned, we all join them to mourn Osinachi's death. But what? <coughs> we want from him is the truth if they want us to help them all i want from you is the truth the boy adjusted his seat he looked at me i said do you fear god did your mom teach you how to pray and speak the truth he said yes then he opened up there was nobody myself himself and my permanent secretary and thank god my said was recording everything the boy now open up and say that their dad used to beat their mom and their mom was always sad she would always sad and thinking he would beat her and fling her off he doesn't spare them himself that he gathered them in the room and will be beating them with the big belt if the mom comes in to ask him to stop he will turn back on her beat her lift her fling her up and that has always been the issue and that they are always scared and that he doesn't go out, he's always in the home. It's the mom that runs around, she goes for her gospel music, bring back the money. In fact, if the money is paid through cash, uh, through a bank account, it's paid to his account. She has no account of her own. Any cash she comes back with, he collects it. And he will give just a peanut to her for feeding. In fact, the boy said, he eats more than them. He will give mommy small money and when she cooks, 
The next minute, he started shouting and beating her, that he is always shouting. And their mom was living in fear, always sitting sad. Oh, it was such a horrible story to hear from a young boy of just 12. The eldest son is 12. And because of the trauma the children went through, I asked him which class he is. He's in class 5 at the age of 12. Why? He said he can't even read. A boy of 12 years can't even read. So mentally, this child is already destroyed. Retarded, yes. Completely. I was battling with tears. So when I finished, I asked him to move to the other side. I called the nanny to bring in the second child. The second son, wonderful, beautiful son, who is also gifted. Mm -hmm. I learned that he sings well. They mentioned it, so I asked him, I said, can you sing for me? When he sang, you could hear his voice like an angel. The DPO was, had just come to do some investigation, and he met me there. We were all battling with tears. The DPO, a man, couldn't help his tears. The second son explained the same horrible situation that they've all been going through. <clears throat> so my mom said, said, even these two were enough. The other two, when I said, okay, call them and uh, let's just... Uh, the third one said, no, mommy, I too, I want to talk. The little one, they insisted that they, they would also tell their story. So we sent everyone out and we listened to each one of them, one after the other, in fact, the last one is seven. A girl, the only girl in the house. It's so sad. This is a situation that I'm calling on all Nigerians. May the soul of Sister Osnache, I want you to call, may the soul of all the first for departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may her soul rest in peace. Amen. Like I keep telling people, that children that you are trying to save, you are killing them. Leave. Leave. Leave that marriage. Leave that beast of a husband. Leave. You are, you are killing your children's future. You are killing them mentally, physically, otherwise, like everywhere. Just leave.